Mike Yoho here at the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm here to demo the new Fastomatic system, which we recently constructed here at the Nuclear Engineering Teaching Lab in Austin. The original problem statement was to design a system which would allow us to look at how 14 MeV neutrons interact with various materials. Uh, one specific application would be looking at uranium. A sample, which uh, looks like this, would go in front of the neutron source, which is here, and that creates uh, very short-lived isotopes. And then the sample must travel between the generator here and the detector, which is over here, in less than a second, so that the detector can uh, catch these very short-lived isotopes. Another uh, problem constraint that we have is that we wanted to make it cycled. That is, uh, we wanted to be able to have the sample move between the generator and the detector multiple times back and forth. Due to the high levels of radiation associated with a neutron generator, the control area as well as the loading mechanism need to be located in another room. Um, here is the loading mechanism. Um, it, as you can see, can hold about 20 samples in the hopper. Um, it basically has, it has a stepper motor, and the stepper motor rotates what we call a switcher. And the switcher takes a sample and basically drops it into the chamber down here, and then fired into the pneumatic line. Well, uh, let's, let's see it work. So, well, you load the samples like that. It already has about uh, eight samples in it. So, let's load one here. All right, so the sample is loaded, and now let's uh, send it into the system. Once the sample comes over the wall, it enters what we call the elevator right here. Basically, we have two, tr two pneumatic tracks. One track goes from the loading mechanism to the waste. The other track goes from the neutron generator to the germanium detector, and the elevator basically takes the sample and switches it from track to track. And, well, let's see it uh, go up and down. And I don't know how much you can see, but perhaps you can hear it uh, going up and down. And, well, there it is. So now we're going to demonstrate the cyclic ability of our system. And we have lowered the pressure and painted the sample black so it will be going slow enough um, so we can possibly um, be able to see it with the camera. But so let's see it uh, go back and forth between the neutron generator and germanium detector. So now it's going back and forth uh, several times. And even at this low pressure, it's operating at about a second or less travel time. So I don't think previously that the sample was showing up in that uh, large wide shot we had. So this is a close up of the uh, detector stopping mechanism. So you can sort of see the sample again traveling at a low pressure. We have completed our testing between the generator and detector. We have sent it back to the elevator and we're going to eject it to the waste. And let's see, there's our sample. Hi, I'm uh, Matt Montgomery and I've been helping Mike quite a bit on this project over the summer. Uh, I. I really did the uh, electronics and controls portion. Uh, I'm a grad student here at Nettle. Um, anyway, um, basically for the electronics uh, portion, we controlled everything with a, uh, a, a digital I.O. from National Instruments, a USB device. Uh, and that is powering uh, this I.O. in and out, this green section here. And essentially on the circuit board, I have uh, three transistor circuits controlling these three relays, which control the three valves over here. 
Uh, and besides that, if you'll notice along the uh, pneumatic lines, we have these sensors. We have six of them all together to monitor the uh, throughput of the uh, sample as it's moving. And all the sensors in and out go through this little relay block here. I'm sorry, not a relay block, just a, a signal block. And this is our power. And uh, that's basically the uh, controls. First, I'd like to thank Los Alamos National Laboratories, as well as Dr. Mitch Pryor, for getting the funding together for this project. Also, I'd like to thank Dr. Sheldon Landsberger, project coordinator. Originally, I was on a design team with myself, Kendall Burns, Janet Fox, and Jason Gidry, and I'd like to thank all of them for their uh, work on this project. Also, I'd like to thank Matt Montgomery for his tremendous help the last three months in doing all the um, electronics and controls. Further, I'd like to thank the Nettle staff, uh, Larry Welch, Mike Krause, and Mike Whaley. And I think most importantly, I'd like to thank the University of Texas Mechanical Engineering Machine Shop, specifically Scott Allen and Danny Yarez for contributing to the design of the loading mechanism and converter and um, making it so they would be machinable. And overall, we have exceeded the one second um, time standard right now at about operating at 5 PSI, we're down to 0.8 seconds. And as you saw, we have a working cyclic system. Um, so this concludes the presentation and thank you for watching.